Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. So we have uh, revisited the gaming test with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Uh, just turn it on so it's super, super cold. Uh, obviously it was turned off. Uh, anyway, we're also using the CPU profiler to check here, the, of course, the CPU frequency, uh, how much we get here in the power, the usable, uh, of course, the usable power of the SOC itself. You can see by itself of the, also the temperature of the battery. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to have that CPU profiler somewhere here because uh, it's, of course, over displaying. Uh, also, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to exit and show you here the thermals. This is uh, obviously this is why many people are following my channel. I go so in-depth in details uh, and I'll show you here also the thermals. We tested here, of course, with the uh, infrared thermometer, but also we are testing the thermals, uh, the inside temps, which we can't right now, obviously, uh, see with our own eyes basically i can't uh, measure them but i could uh, see them with data 64 which should be uh, really accurate maybe not 100 percent accurate but it is the best uh, rated app on the google play store ninjas if somebody knows a better app let me know regarding the thermal uh frequency the thermal test ninjas remember that here we go with the battery 27 so uh, battery 25 down there battery 27 i think this is more accurate so we're going to leave it as it is and we're going to go to mobile legends we're going to play a few games uh, these super demanding uh, or super famous games those this is also redmi note 5 the 4 gigabyte that variant but uh, trust me three or four at the same speed in the gaming makes no sense ninjas uh you don't have to buy the 4 gigs ram if you are not multitasker if you don't have like 10 15 apps open in the background this is the maximum graphics you can see by self high graphics and also i enable the speed mode on anyway so let's test here is it locked? So we have here the CPU speed. Let me see here. Uh, first four ones, which are basically for the low consumption, low power for Cortex and the, uh, the other four Cortex, since this is an octa-core SOC, Snapdragon 636. We can see by itself that uh, the maximum usable uh, power here is around 1.8 megahertz that I see here so far. 1.8 maximum. Yeah, 1.8. So far I saw it. 1.8 i hope you can see that ninjas i'm gonna try to basically yeah 1.8 so far and you can see by yourself that it's not using the full power of the soc ninjas how why uh, i'm gonna just bring it again in close up and you can see by yourself that uh, uh, it is kind of a little bit under uh, the actual full power that it should give you this so far that i uh, noticed that only black shark uh, next to the one plus 60 one plus 60 and one plus 6 do overheat no, I'll just go back. So we're gonna go again to Aita 64. Okay, that's fine. Battery right now goes to 30, about 30. Uh, anyway, so you can see by itself here that it's 1.8. So it's it's kind of very close. This is very impressive. It's still very close to the full speed power, but it's using around the average here 1.7 in just 1.7 that I noticed. Uh, anyway, like I said here, maybe this app is not 100% accurate. If somebody knows a better app, again, this is very impressive and amazing performance by the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Uh, super, super cool. You can see by itself. Right now it's uh, 1.4. So I think it's average 1.5 ninjas, we'll see. Here it goes, sometimes it, eh, here it goes, here it goes, check, it, check this out ninjas. So uh, right now, just for a moment, was using the full power of the SOC, and you can see by itself here, oh my god, this is so excited, and it's excitement, excited? Exciting, it's exciting, exciting man, this is so exciting. You can see by itself that even now, even now it's using the full power, probably uh, right now we can feel that it's running even so smooth, and when it's using the full power, it's running without lag ninjas. There you go, right now we are having the full power, oh my god, check it out ninjas. Check it out, you can see by itself here. The, these are the four Cortex which are using obviously the higher clock speed. Beautiful, beautiful. I hope you appreciate these gaming test ninjas revisited once. You're going to have the buying links below for the Redmi Note 5. You can get it on Banggood or GearBest. This one is from GearBest ninjas. Dropped, now the performance dropped, you can see by itself. It will lag, Ninjas. Uh, this game is super demanding. Even with more powerful SOC, it does lag there. Uh, again, I do have amazing ping, so I can't blame the Wi-Fi connectivity because the, my ping is always uh, under 80, I think so, MS or so. Anyway, let's go now with a different game. Now we're going to go with a different game. Let me exit the Mobile Legends. Let's firstly go to the Thermals. 
Thermos here we have right now from 27, we get 32 degrees. You can see by itself up there. So you're going to follow the battery, which is the most important thing here. If the battery has really super high temperatures, then that means that it will drain battery uh, even faster. Let's exit the Mobile Legends and let's go to uh, uh, Shadow Gun Legends. And we're going to also test this game at the maximum graphics. Ninjas, remember that these are my hardcore uh, tests. Uh, obviously, uh, most of you, mo m many of you, you won't be playing these games at the maximum because uh, of course this is a low end SOC it is the best low end SOC on the market but it is a low end SOC uh, and of course you can't expect to have a Black Shark OnePlus 60 I don't know Samsung S9 performance for $175 you can't expect that Ninjas to play these games on ultra high max graphics but I'm doing that just to show you and give you these amazing result basically amazing and anal uh, uh, Analyzing and basically analyzing the smartphone, the SOC, the optimization of these smartphones uh, with all these apps, with AIDA64, with the uh, CPU profiler, also using here the th uh, infrared thermometer to test the temperatures. All together, I think uh, so far only what is missing here for me is the FPS meter, but unfortunately the game... The game bench, the benchmark game uh, app, which uh, there is on Play Store, has some issues with the new UI uh, smartphones. No chance that I can run it, Ninja. So I have some problems. Okay, let's uh, launch this thing. I will show you just a minute. I will show you that it's uh, first we're gonna set up on the maximum graphics because it was on the medium. And we're gonna uh, obviously I'm gonna change it through the gameplay. I will change it and lower it to the medium because on medium uh, it runs really good. Anyway, let's go now start the game. Launch. This is also super hand. This is one of the most high demanding graphical games on Play Store. One of the best graphics ever, Ninjas. You will see, you will see. If you don't know for this game, it is a must play. Okay, Ninjas, we are in the game and check it out, check it out. So, just a minute, let me put this, hold it. So again, not yet using the full power of the SOC. You can see by itself, right now it's average 1.1, Ninjas. So it's super laggy. Not using the full power of the SOC. Follow the demograph, uh, the analyzer there, the CPU profiler. Yes, average 1.1 gigahertz is ninjas. Okay, I think you get the point, Ninja, so let's just for the fun and show you that uh, uh, Snapdragon 830 is, uh, 636 is an amazing SOC. Uh, so we're going to run it here in medium settings. So this is on the medium settings and check right now the performance there. Check the performance. Uh, do you see the CPU profiler here, how more stable it is uh, on lower graphics? Check it out, Ninjas. So you get more stable performance, obviously, because the graphics are lower there. You get better FPS. And I even get that it's using right now, uh, it's using even this uh, uh, full power, which is really, uh, th this is really interesting. So uh, I, I can't explain that. I'm not that technical, but I hope that somebody can explain me how come on uh, super, probably, maybe it's locked. Maybe when it feels that it's uh, pushed uh, basically out of the border, maybe the system itself is optimized in that way that it will lock the speed. It won't go higher than uh, basically programmed. If I can explain it like that, Ninjas. And we can see by stuff right now is way, way smoother. There you go. Way, way smoother, Ninjas. <laughs> okay. Let's go now exit and see here the thermals. So thermals, let's see here from uh, th 36 right now. Uh, infra uh, infrared uh, thermometer, thermometer, sorry for that infrared. <laughs> uh, thermometer there, let's see here. Giving us uh, 33, 33 on the back, 30, 
one on the front. Let's go with a different game. Okay, welcome back, Ninja. So, Ark Survival Mode. Yes, we're gonna test also this game. Uh, we're gonna test even on the epic mode with the highest resolution, maximum resolution. This is gonna be so heavy, but we're gonna do it, Ninja. Like I said here, this is a kind of a super uh, proper hardcore uh, gaming test with the Redmi Note 5. Uh, obviously, for the regular use with the regular medium graphics, you can check my gaming review of this device. So, please make sure to check it. This is just kind of a revisited uh, gaming test uh, for 2019. Uh, and uh, with this kind of hardcore uh, analyzing performance and seeing here the stability which is very very interesting in uh, interesting in my uh, in my opinion okay come on come on okay ninja so this is on epic mode you can see by itself Let's see here, average here out of 1.8, it's using, also average here 1.1, Ninjas. Average 1.1, which you can even see by yourself. If you just pause this video, you will see uh, those numbers. They are tiny, but just basically watch this, maybe watch this video on your PC or something. Average 1.1, yes, indeed. Uh, goes slightly, goes uh, for a second, goes to 1.4. Okay, which is very interesting. I hope that somebody can uh, inform me uh, how come that uh, is it is it locked? Is the performance by uh, locked in software itself when we are basically playing or maybe setting up the super high uh, graphical modes, graphic settings? Because it doesn't move. Uh, for a second, goes to one point four. Uh, it doesn't go away. I didn't saw just. I didn't. I see for maybe for a millisecond it goes to one point eight, uh, kind of using the full power of the SOC. But here, average you can see by itself one point one. Anyway, let's go now lower the graphics. Uh, so it seems that kind of uh, by software optimization itself, uh, uh, if you are if you want to use the full power of the F SOC, you will have to lower the graphics, ninjas. So I don't know how uh, how can I explain this thing. I'm gonna put it on medium. So this is on medium graphics. Oh my god, this Ark Survival Mode is such a demanding game. It is a demanding game, Ninjas. Such a demanding game, in my opinion. Oh my god, it, run, it runs so smooth on Black Shark. If you just see how it runs on Black Shark, oh my god. Anyway, it is stable, but still uh, average 1.1 ninjas. This is very interesting. So still 1.1, even if I lower the graphics. So how to explain this thing? Is this uh, done by software itself? Limited? Capped? Maybe the frequency is capped there. Depends of the graphic uh, graphical details which you're using. Maybe, maybe, who knows? I hope that uh, more technical and more... Uh, smart people, smarter people than me can uh, obviously teach me what Xiaomi done here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We had here for a second, for a second, we, for a second, uh, it was using a uh, higher there, more power. Anyway, so let's just lower the, uh, the resolution. So the resolution is very also uh, here pushing the smartphone basically. Okay, let's see here what's going to happen with the... Also, I have to remind you that, yes, uh, that this game is probably uh, slowing down a little bit because of this app itself here. Uh, because this app is probably not optimized for all, for all uh, operating st systems, for all Android skins, which I noticed when I disable right now this app. Uh, I think that the game, I'm sure that the gameplay will be smoother, Ninjas. So please make sure that I'm, I'm not saying here that I'm doing all this 100% accurate. Uh, because I don't know which apps will give me uh, a stable kind of uh, sta stable prof uh, profiling information here. And at the same time, obviously, to give me a stable uh, gameplay here. So I hope that this uh, uh, profiler it is uh, basically calculating the real life performance of the game itself. Obviously, in our eyes, may it looks uh, kind of laggy or so, but that's not important. Important it what, uh, what kind of power, how much of the power of the SOC, uh, the capacity of the SOC is using here. Anyway, so let let me just uh, exit this app. I will show you right now. I'm gonna exit this app. 
Uh, just a minute. Is it like this? I think it's like this. Monitor enable, you can exit now. No, disable. Monitor disabled. So I can exit this app. And let's go to Arc Mobile. And you can see Nisha Ninja so right now that it is smoother. What do you think? In my opinion, it is smoother here. So that app, it is putting down the performance in real life, uh, in real life, basically, in real time. That's what I want to say. But I, st I still think, I still think that it's still just uh, having an average, it's not, it's not using the full power of the SOC. This is a medium settings and medium resolution. Remember that. And of course, for the end, we're going to test also the PUBG. Yes, we're going to test the PUBG for the end on Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Latest update. Beautiful. Anyway, let's go with the PUBG. Oh, before that, we're going to test here the temps. 33, 34. Let's see here on the back. 35. Absolutely fine. Already playing 15 minutes, 20 minutes almost, more than that. So we're going to exit and go to AIDA64 quickly. And let's see, 38 degrees, completely fine. These are normal temperatures, not overheating at all. And Snapdragon 636 is very well known for a battery optimization and heating optimization. And for the end, before that, let me just uh, again enable the profiler. So enable the profiler, you can see by self here, Ninjas. Uh, and we're going to go to PUBG Mobile. Before that, let me see what kind of graphics we're using in the PUBG. I'm using the GFX tool also to enable the 60 FPS. Yes, I'm going to use a super hardcore uh, graphics here. Details, check it out, Ninjas. HDR, full HD resolution, 60 FPS. Again, 99% uh, 90, 90, of all of you, you won't be playing these games on uh, maximum graphics, Ninjas. Obviously, you're not going to, but this for a fun, for testing purposes, I'm doing these, uh, this video for all of you. Also, I will lower the graphics to maybe smooth balance and I'm going to exit this app just to show you how it looks like. But again, I repeat again, Ninjas, for a full gaming review, please make sure to check my separate special video where I don't use this CPU profiler. I don't check AIDA64. I don't exit the game or something. I'm just straight like an average user playing games and showing you how it looks like in real life on medium settings. At least the best settings that will provide you a smooth experience, gaming experience, which is the most important thing. The graphics obviously is not important for the gameplay. Why would I play PUBG on Snapdragon 636 on HDR uh, with the full shadow graphics enabled when I can't aim prob properly? Come on, come on, Battleground PUBG. Why would I do that? Because I will be mainly, the, I will be killed, man. Every time I will be killed because I can't, the most important thing with these FPS is to have, with these uh, games is to have amazing FPS, steady, stable frame rates in order to uh, kill somebody and to have kills. Yeah. Anyway, stay, uh, stay tuned. Okay, Ninja, so we are in the game. I forgot to mention that I also enabled the analyzing at 4x through the GFX tool. But you can see by yourself, this is the max that you can get here or any smart on any smartphone, Ninja. The maximum graphics with the GFX tool. That's this, uh, the, uh, the speciality of the GFX tool here. And that's why many people are using it. Uh, anyway, uh, you can't basically, this is the only way that you can unlock uh, with the low end and mid range SOC, the 60 FPS, the extreme mode, because it means a lot, man. It means a lot for the gaming. Imagine if we had uh, even uh, kind of uh, better screens, better refresh rate, faster refresh rate, etc., etc. That would be just amazing. But for now, that's completely fine. And you can see by self here, these are uh, lagging a lot. Obviously, you should expect that for a low-end SOC. That's completely fine and normal. Uh, again, uh, I will play it a little bit without the profiler. Then I'm going to include the profiler for one minute. So please make sure to watch this video till the end. Okay, I should put maybe the brightness a little bit here. Oh, it's already on the good side. It's like 80% or so. But the graphics are amazing, Ninja. So you can see by itself that Xiaomi is just... Uh, and basically not just Xiaomi. Uh, I have to mention also the Qualcomm. The, the happy side of the Qualcomm. <laughs> anyway, shadows are also enabled. You can see by itself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh my god, from all sides I'm surrounded. From all four directions.
where I'm gonna go, where I'm gonna go, bro. And we can this is kind of under 25 FPS, easily under 25 FPS, which is again, it's normal ninjas. This is a heavy, one of the most heaviest games on Android, uh, on the Google Play Store. Okay, I'm gonna play just about for one minute. And we're gonna use a CPU profiler also for one minute. And then we're gonna lower the graphics to balance mode ninjas. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I repeat again, most of you won't be playing these games at these graphics because it makes no sense. Uh, you need a more expensive smartphone to be able to play smoothly these games on max graphics. Everybody knows that. I mean, everybody knows. It's just logical, man. It's just logical. Okay. This is amazing. Uh, all the media tech except the Halo P60. Halo P60 is an amazing SOC and underrated SOC from the media tech. But other SOCs under 150 like media tech, uh, maybe like Halo P23, Halo P20, media tech 6750. Oh my God, they will be, bro, they will be like, I think they, the smartphone will just shut down, man. Anyway, so let's go now and exit. We're going to go a little bit again to... And just exit to Facebook, uh, again to AIDA64, testing here the thermals, 34, probably the temperatures did lo lower down because I needed to set up the PUBG. Uh, now, now we're going to go enable the profiler, wanted to enable, you can exit now, yes, we're going to do that, PUBG, let's see what's happening with the PUBG, anyway, ninjas. Oh my god, running the same, running the same with the CPU profiler, so it seems that it's stable, the CPU profiler and the game uh, itself, it's stable here while the you saw that the arc mobile was struggling with the cpu profiler it did pull the performance down the actual what we see with our own eyes okay again again even with the pubg here the max graphics it's not using the full uh, power of the soc you can see by itself again average 1.1 gigahertz is that and just uh, out of 1.8 yeah. we are checking obviously the the four cores which are there for the power for the for the performance then the first four cores which are for the battery for the low performance mode i repeat again ninjas i'm open here for advices uh, for uh, education purposes you can obviously advise me to do this uh, test in a different way maybe with a different app uh, this is for me uh, one of the first steps basically i never uh, been a i have never been using the cpu profiler so if you have some tips for me let me know let me know also testing here the temps again even with extreme mode on a samsung 636 won't overheat like uh flagship socs ninjas and remember that crazy man crazy graphics here shadow enabled full hd resolution Analyzing 4x. Yep, average 1.1 ninjas. 1.1 just jumps a little bit to 1.4, jumps a little bit to 1.7, and for millisecond jumps to 1.8 ninjas. But that's again not noticeable at all, and it won't help in the FPS. We need a steady, steady around 1.7 to have a steady FPS. So now what we're gonna do? We go to settings, we do go to graphics, and we lower it to balance ninjas. We're gonna lower it to the balance mode, and let's see here what's gonna happen. Okay, new settings applied. Let's see here. Yep, much, much better here. You can see by itself that it is much, much better. And I'm gonna try to uh, play this balance mode without the CPU profiler. You can see by itself, it's super smooth if you look at the sky, but as soon as you show more details there, horizon, the FPS drops, the FPS drops. Still same average 1.1 ninjas, jumps more frequently to 1.4 because the graphics are lowered, but still staying there at 1.1 ninja. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, again, for the fun purposes, we're gonna go to graphics and put on smooth, and we're gonna uh, leave as it is. Enable it. Okay. So you by self, better performance now, more FPS, because we lowered the graphics.
still using 1.1 inches. Interesting, very interesting. So maybe I'm wrong, Ninjas, maybe I'm wrong. This is why I'm making these videos and my comment section is open. I don't hide, if somebody gives me an advice, I don't hide that or something like that. I need advices and that's why I'm making these videos to obviously educate myself more because uh, there are plenty of other people who are more smarter than me. Uh, oh, check it out, Ninjas, check it out right now. It was, was steady 1.4, it was using 1.4 there. Oh, boom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And now I'm going to exit, I'm going to exit the CP profiler. Oh, no, no, I can't do that. No, just a minute, just a minute. Oh, no. I'm going to exit the CP profiler. If I can do that, I can do it. And oh my god, it it's even smoother right now. Just it seems that that CPU profile there that's that's slightly pull the performance, the real life basically uh, what we see with our own eyes. But the, for the CPU profile is the most important thing here there to see the CPU usage, or maybe it's the same speed. I think it's the same speed. It didn't pull the performance down, bro. I might be wrong there. I think it's the same speed. What do you think, Ninjas? I don't know how nobody killed me, bro. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't understand. I was just running here. Anyway, so this is it, Ninjas for the end. Oh my god, this was a long, in-depth uh, gaming review, I have to admit. 37 degrees, and you can see myself, it won't overheat. It won't overheat. This is really one of the, one of the best things about the uh, Snapdragon 636 smartphone, spe uh, specifically here for the Redmi Note 5 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro. They are, have an amazing battery life, an amazing heating optimization, a big pro, a big pro for the gamers there. I have to admit. Anyway, Ninjas, this is it. Uh, subscribe, share, and like. Use my promo links below to purchase the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Still recommend it for 2019. And this will be a super balanced and amazing device even in upcoming two years easily, Ninjas. In upcoming two years, spending $170 is not that much. Uh, probably you are maybe placing, replacing smartphones every two or three years. This is it, man. This is it for you. Just get it. Listen to my advice. The buying links will be below in the description. My salama. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!